All right, here we go. We're getting back here on YouTube. It's a beautiful uh, Sunday morning, uh, WrestleMania Sunday morning, as the uh, the stories just keep on unfolding. Um, it's not even Vincenzo McMano uh, who's taking <laughs> the center name stage. That is. Have you seen the McMahon with the mustache? I have. Is that a real it? picture? Because some people yes. are saying it's not real. And we completely missed that on uh, our last ah, recording. <laughs> I know Shane sent it to me. And yeah, I, 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 I sent that to him. I, I said Vince McMahon's doppelganger, Vincenzo McMano. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I feel like I have a bat phone now because <laughs> our new format here on YouTube, like we are running to our office anytime a story breaks. And and I love this this new concept. I love this new format that we have going. And if there's breaking news, we're gonna we're gonna get it and we're gonna discuss it. Um, so the big story yesterday coming out of WrestleCon, it was all over the place. It was TMZ. Did it happen on Friday? I believe on- that this happened uh, uh, April. No, this was April 1st. Well, so, okay. So yesterday, so yesterday. Um, Giselle Shaw, who is an impact wrestling knockout, um, claims that Rick Steiner just went off on her and threw as many derogatory comments at her as he possibly could as she was walking by his table at WrestleCon. Now, there are quotes from different people. There's there's a quote from Giselle herself. There's a quote from a couple of her colleagues that were there. Um, and we're going to dive into it and, and give our opinions. Um, but there is no nothing yet from Rick Steiner, which I was, I was hoping that he would have said something by now. But he has been very, very silent on this situation. So I know you have... The receipts in front of you, if you want to pull up uh, Giselle's quote and read that first so we can get an idea of exactly what was said and we can elaborate on it then. I would love to, Queen of Extreme. Very, very unfortunate situation. And, And again, Chad and I were not there. This is allegedly what was going on yesterday and everybody has their opinion. I've read a lot of comments from fans and it's been about 50, 50 people uh, are taking Giselle's side, but then there's the people who are on Rick's side. So it's kind of like, you know, um, without Rick opening his mouth though, that, that makes me a little skeptical. You know, sometimes they say silence is guilt, but I don't know. Uh, can you see that text? Is that too small? Oh, well, you're going to read it. It's fine. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it says, I've been bullied all my life and have never stood up for myself because I'm scared that I would get beaten up physically, mentally, or emotionally. The bullies in my life have always silenced me, but that never ends. I was at an autograph signing event today at WrestleCon while I was walking to my table. I hear someone yelling, You're a man, you're a dude, you're a piece of trash, you are filth, get the fuck away from here. I kept my head down and kept walking as I did not want to acknowledge the hate. When I arrived at my table, I spoke to another Impact Wrestling talent who was at the signing with me and mentioned the incident. It didn't sit well with me and I wanted to know who was saying that because it's unacceptable. So I decided to take a walk in that area and I hear that same person saying the same derogatory comments. I looked at the person and it was Rick Steiner saying those statements. Okay. You want me to pause or keep going? You can keep going. I was shocked and could not believe that this was happening. To have people look up to and consider their hero. uh, Let's get the line. Oh, I skipped line. oh, sorry. I was shocked uh, and could not believe that this was happening to have some. That, wait, that, I'm sorry. Have someone tech, saying those comments where? is the next line. To have someone saying those comments who a lot of people look up to and consider their hero was quite shocking and disheartening. I was in disbelief, so I asked him, excuse me. He kept repeating those hateful phrases and started yelling at me in a public setting. It was inexcusable and unacceptable. Okay. That's part one. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Um, you, uh, I mean, I think we got the gist of it. There's I, a there. This is uh the, the last part of it. it well, I won't, I won't read that part of it. Well, that that was the main meat and potatoes of it. Okay. Um. So here's my stance. Um. 
whether it happened or not, I wasn't there. I didn't, I, I didn't witness it. I didn't hear it. If this is true, it is a hundred percent unacceptable. Everybody in this world has an opinion. Me included, you include it. Um, you believe in what you want to believe in. Um, you know, I, we've said it before. I've, I've really kept my mouth shut on a lot of things because, you know, if, if you are a hundred percent open to all your political beliefs, religious beliefs, you're going to lose half of your fan base. Right. So I kind of just tend to like keep my mouth shut about certain things. And, and if I don't like something, I just keep scrolling and I don't try and argue with people anymore. It's just, it's a waste of my time. Rick Steiner is allowed his opinion, just like we all are. Where he is wrong is where you are vocal about it to the point where you are bullying somebody. Being a bully is never acceptable. Just because you don't believe in somebody, you know, what somebody else believes in or how somebody else lives their life, to you it's wrong, to them it's right doesn't mean you have, you know, a free ticket to go and harass somebody like that. It, it's, especially in, in 2023, you can't act this way. You're in a public setting like WrestleCon where you are looked at as a legend. Okay. Cause Rick Steiner, the Steiner brothers, they're legends in this sport. Okay. You can't argue that fact. For him to go off on a tirade, especially to someone like Giselle, who is much smaller, um, wasn't bothering him. Apparently, she, she, you know, just walking by the table didn't say a word. What was the point of spewing that hate? What did Rick think he was going to get out of this? It's just him being a bully. And I know we're allowed our opinions. I understand that. I respect everybody's opinion. You believe what you want to believe. But you cannot harass people. You cannot be vocal about it to the point where you're going to make somebody feel uncomfortable or unsafe. It's not acceptable. It's not okay. Now, again... I don't know if this is 100% true. I wasn't there. But if it did happen, it is a disgusting act. And I 100% stand with Giselle on this one. Now, I have met Rick on several occasions. He has always been respectful and kind and nice to me. Right? I've never witnessed him as a bully, as a loudmouth. Now, I was never on the road with him. I never really shared a locker room with him consecutively. I think maybe once or twice. Um, They were in ECW years ago, uh, but they weren't there for a long time. You know, Um, I've done a a couple signings with him. Um, I think we did a radio show together once. Nothing but nice and respectful. So I will say that I've never had a bad word to say about Rick Steiner. He's always been nice to me. But if he did something like this, what kind of person is that? I would never, no matter what I believe, no matter what I stand up for, I would never, ever do that to another human being. It's it's wrong. It's just wrong to me. And, and I'm sorry, that's the way I feel. You, you can't harass people. You can't bully people for no reason. There's no reason for that hate. I I completely agree with you 100% on everything you said. But it's 2023. And if this gets out there and it's put on social media, and we now have the court of public opinion, and your name is attached to a story like this, you're done. I would think so. Now, WrestleCon issued a statement. Yes, I, I have pulled this up. Uh, WrestleCon uh, put out a statement a couple hours later. Says WrestleCon regrets the events that took place at yesterday's convention and apologizes to Giselle Shaw. We aim to prom- promote a safe and inclusive environment for all LGBTQAI plus members 
of the wrestling community. The issue has been addressed, and we hope the remainder of the convention can be a positive experience for all. Now, that response is being met with criticism as being lukewarm. I, I think that was fine, personally. I think that they stepped in and they made a, 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 a decision. They removed Rick Steiner from WrestleCon, um, made the public statement, which they did, I think, rather quickly. They did by what? Uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, but or, it, it, did they just remove him from the weekend, or is he banned from all? No, he's weekend? banned. He's banned forever. He's banned, he's for, banned for from wrestling okay. forever. Okay, and uh, they, I think they did that in an appropriate amount of time, given what WrestleCon is in terms of the weekend. You know, and, and it's a three day event. It's a, it's a huge undertaking of an event, and it's being met with a, it's being called a lukewarm response. So what, lukewarm, I don't understand. What what else were they supposed to state in this statement? I mean, I, I think know. they hit the nail on the head. I do too. And did the right thing. I um, don't know. I just think that there's such a microscope on everything that's said now that people are looking to dissect things so like ferociously that they came with this. And this is from a, a Comic-Con.com, I believe. Uh, Comic-Con.com, WrestleCon issues lukewarm, non-apology for transphobic incident involving Rick Steiner. Technically, they're not the ones who should give the apology. It's Rick Steiner who should give the apology. Correct. WrestleCon didn't do anything wrong. They didn't, they didn't do any, the only, the only way WrestleCon would do something wrong is if they let him sit back at that table after the incident happened. Correct. And so, I'm not I'm not sure if WrestleCon was even responsible for bringing in the Steiner No, brothers. he was brought in by a vendor. Correct. So it would have been the vendor who would have also had to work with WrestleCon to remove him from the weekend. Because now the vendor who paid Rick Steiner to be there is now out the money that they paid Rick Steiner to be there. Yeah, exactly. So how could WrestleCon have... Um, you know, made a better apology. Like what would make it a, a better apology from Michael? I, I don't get it. Like, I th I think this was to the point and they did the right thing. So I don't, I don't see how it could have been any better. Yes. I, 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 I don't, I absolutely don't get it. I agree with you uh, with that. But again, like back to what I said, it's, it's one thing to put this story out. And I think putting the story out there, took a lot of guts to, to type all of that out and put that out there in the world probably was a lot of editing and, 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 you know, retyping. And you, you know how it is when you want to put your thoughts out there. I'm sure that there was probably 10 million other things that were going to be put into that original draft before it was sent out there, because that's probably the most nerve wracking thing you can do. But when you attach somebody's name to it, that's where it turns up a notch and putting the name out there makes it real. And yes, Rick Steiner has not commented once, nor has Scott Steiner, nor has Braun Breaker, Rick Steiner's son, who's part of WWE's roster, who will probably be the last person who comments on yeah. it because WWE's probably like, uh, hey, Braun, um, you're not leaving your hotel room <laughs> for the rest yeah. of the weekend. Right. Um, but the thing that I would have thought first, again, like, and, and this is just as an outside fan perspective and not seen – Rick Steiner comment on it, not being at WrestleCon, being on literally the other side of the, of the States, being on the other side of the coast. How did nobody literally confront him and get in front of him with the camera and say, Rick, why did you say this? Why did you do this? What was the point of saying this? How could you be a bully? How could you do this to Giselle? Why would you put Giselle in this kind of situation when we have so many videos? I don't know if you just saw the other day, at the uh, Angels Oakland A's game on opening day, uh, Anthony Rendon, the third baseman for the Angels, grabbed a fan through the stands and oh. pulled him almost through the turnstile because the fan called him a bitch oh. and <laughs> pulled his, his arm back to hit him. Yeah. There was literally a guy standing behind the fan like this, catching it. Then they got an angle of a guy across the field over here with the other angle showing how the guy, how we pulled the fan through. It's uh, what I'm saying is, is I just cannot fathom how nobody was able to cover this. And I'm not saying it didn't happen. I just cannot believe that nobody was able to catch this on some sort of phone when we've got everything recorded and captured on our phones. 
I have a theory, and I could be 100% wrong, off the mark, incorrect, but what if this happened before the doors opened and there were no fans there and people were setting up their tables? Because we get there early to set up. You know, we, we are there. If doors open at 9, talent usually gets there sometimes around 8.30. So you have about a half an hour to get to your table, get situated, get your coffee, this, that, and the other thing. What if she was just, now we, we don't know what time, they didn't give a time stamp on what happened. What if she was just walking, <clears throat> excuse me, walking to her table, uh, trying to get ready for the day and Giselle's walking by Rick and this happens and you have Rick Steiner there who's around his brother, the, the guy who brought him in. And around colleagues that he's probably friendly with, if one of my friends got into this situation, I would not record it. I would not take my phone out to to uh, you know hurt my friend in this situation. Even if the friend was wrong, I would probably just take a stance and keep my mouth shut because it's not my business. But what if, what if something like that happened? The doors weren't open. There's no fans there. Do we know what time this happened? That's a great point. No, we don't. And that's yeah. an excellent, excellent point. But to that point, there are people who are with the vendors who are setting up that are not as professional as some of the, of the guys and gals who are in that WrestleCon convention room that would not hesitate to pull out their phone and record. So yeah. I'll counter your point, which is excellent and a great question that should be asked. When did it happen? But there are not people who might hold back. Because again, I'm thinking I'm thinking this is the old school. I'm sorry, that's where my brain went. In the old school, Queen of Extreme, and I've already asked this to somebody from the old school. <laughs> wouldn't the first instinct be that we go to the person who perpetrated the slurs and say, "Why? Why did you say that?" She did. She said, "Excuse me," and he just no, 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 no. <laughs> or you send somebody over who might be a neutral ground, say, hey, can I talk to you for a second? And you pull them aside, say, um, wasn't right. Why Why did we do that? Uh, I, we're going to have a bigger problem here. And I think, you know, you either need to chill out or there's going to be some, some big repercussions if you don't. I don't know. I don't know if, if you do that. Sometimes it's better to just stay away. You know, not walk by that table again. I don't know if it was me. I don't know if I would want to confront him. I don't like confrontation most but, of the time. But Francine, this is not Rick Steiner from 1989. This is Rick no. Steiner. But we sat next to Rick Steiner at the big event last March. They, Rick and Scott barely said two words to anybody. They barely even talked to the nasty boys. And I've, I spoke to a couple people yesterday, described Rick and Scott Steiner now as very, quote, mellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're not the same ferocious guys that could take your head off at the snap of a finger anymore. They're older but men. They're, they're older. not the same guys. Yeah, they're older men, but they're still legends. In, in, in you, the one thing you have to remember is your ranking in this business, and sometimes it's just better not to deal with one of the vets because you're going to get heat for it. I disagree. This this generation doesn't care about their ranking. Well, anymore. I do. I'm, I know I, you do, but the like generation me. that's coming up doesn't give a shit about ranking. They well, they think they're already above or or beyond where any of the rankings were. They don't care about rankings of legends, and that's where. And I have my biggest qualms with the scenario of what's going on. Is it's one thing to take a side of it happened and it was wrong, or it didn't happen. And it's it it's this is all fabricated, which we don't know. The 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 amount of people that just write F Rick Steiner, <laughs> F Rick Steiner. I I've never seen the the, the word F put in front You're of. You're gonna get so us many, demonetized with your language today. I'll blank it. I don't I don't care. But <laughs> the, I just, care. the amount of people writing that, like mm -hmm. that's your intelligence level is just writing F Rick Steiner. You, you, instead of I support Giselle, I su I'm with I, I stand with Giselle. I'm with you, Giselle. F Rick Steiner. I saw the one that says F Rick Steiner and F his whole family. Good Lord, what Calm the down. hell does that? What does Calm Rick down. Steiner's family have to do with it? They put his business up. He's a realtor. He's a, 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 uh, uh, what, what, f his business. Like what? Like, what's that about? 
You just said the F word 12 times. <laughs> well, I'm just point, stating the point. I mean, and, uh, you know, and to see executives <laughs> in wrestling companies put f- Rick Steiner on social media and really? wrestlers put f- Rick Steiner on well, social I, media. I have seen Chris Jericho was very um, vocal. I pulled that up situation. if you want to read that. Yeah. If you can, if you want me to read uh, it? Yeah, it, it's small. You can it says, it. Uh, Chris Jericho, I believe this is on Instagram, said, hey, don't even worry about this. Rick Steiner has always been a bully and has gotten away with this with so much because he is a Steiner. Makes me laugh because I fell for the same shit when he bullied me, Eddie, Chris, Oscar, Hoovy, ETC at World War III 1997. I got your back, Giselle. And if Rick has an issue with this, I'd love to discuss with him anytime. It's 2023, dude. Grow the f*** up. Dude, Jericho. He's a 65 year old man. Okay. What are we going to, you want to meet with him? What are you going to do to him? He's just stating his opinion and standing (laughs) up for what he thinks is right. And Oscar, for those that don't know, that's Ray Mysterio. Right. I, somebody didn't know what I had to clarify yesterday. I I feel like this statement from Chris is genuine. I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it. You know, um, I, I think where Chris is coming from, it's like if you're going to bully a girl, why don't you take on somebody your own size kind of thing? You know what I mean? Like maybe that's where the tweet's coming from. I don't know. Um, but I feel like the support is is heartwarming. Um, it's nice to have your peers, you know, stand up for you. Um, I haven't really seen... Anybody in the business stands up for Rick. Now, I've seen a lot of fans say there's no evidence until you post a, you know, a, a video or get more than two people. Then I, maybe I'll believe it. I've read a lot of those comments. But again, that goes back to me thinking, well, maybe the doors weren't open. Maybe there wasn't a lot of people around. That's, maybe, a, great, that's a great point. Yeah, because, I, I, again, I would need a timestamp. I'm just trying to pick this apart as much as possible. And I feel like if it happened early in the day, um, I stop it. (laughs) Just put up a picture of Jerry Lynn with a perm. I can't. Um, If, if there, if there weren't a lot of people around and it was only Rick and his brother and the promoter, those people are not going to videotape something negative about, about Rick. Like if you had me for a convention and I started acting the fool and, and going off on people, you would not whip your your camera phone out because you have me there, right? You're paying me to be there. So why would you post anything negative about somebody that you're bringing in? So those people would not film anything. Yeah. Now, if this was, you know, in the middle of the day, a million fans, I agree with you. Somebody would have had to take their phone out. You mean to tell me one person didn't yell world star and take their phone out and start filming something, you know, but again, what time did this happen? And don't hate on me in the comments. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying if it did, and I went off earlier in, in, in this broadcast, if it did, it's disgusting view and and he should have just kept his mouth shut you know yeah. we can't read your thoughts we don't know what you're thinking think what you want but don't say it yeah and this gives a lot of news outlets wrestling and beyond uh regular news agencies like fox news that were carrying the story yeah TV everybody that was carrying the story the the legend and the uh uh the amount of stories of rick steiner and scott steiner's what we called them back in the day, ribs that they used to pull backstage. Some guys maybe would have said it was letting off steam while on the road that they used to pull there. They could go on for days. Uh, there's stories of them pulling guys pants off in the ring, no, taping like butt cheeks together, no. you know, stuff that may be considered, you know, horseplay hazing, um, you know, again, locker room blowing off steam. We're on the road for a long time. This is how we, uh, you know, push a guy just to get him started. So he'll, uh, you know, get, a, get himself all worked up. 
they could go on for days upon days. It's mm -hmm. not like Rick Steiner is this innocent party. So I want to clarify my yeah. side of that. I'm not saying I'm like, yeah, Steiner line, baby. I'm here because I love the dog face gremlin. No, I want to see video 2023 proof because that's what the age we're in. I just hate seeing the name being posted like that uh, without the, the documentation and the video proof and the picture. Yeah. I just, we have two witnesses that came forward, an impact referee and another, uh, an impact announcer that came forward to side uh, with Giselle and say, no, we were right there with Giselle and we saw this and we were there to support Giselle. So that's great that they were there and that they could put that out and, and corroborate the story. But you know something too, um, it's it's odd. Why would Giselle, if it's not true, and that's a big if, and I'm not saying I believe it's not true. I'm not saying I believe it's true. If it didn't happen, why would Giselle make something up and pinpoint Rick Bingo. Steiner exactly. out of everybody that was at this uh, signing at WrestleCon? It is Correct. such an odd pairing. Correct. So again, that makes me lean a little bit more towards Giselle because honestly, like you pick Rick Steiner out of everybody in the room. Come on. That's weird. That is an odd choice if something's not true. Hey, I'm not, I, maybe I'm going to just go off on a tangent here and, oh, there's Rick Steiner. I'm going to blame Rick Steiner. Out of, <laughs> out of hundreds of, of talent, you pick somebody like Rick Steiner. So then again, that makes you think like, mm, he's got this background, like you said, he's done not so nice things. And I'm a hundred percent against hazing. I've always been. And I, I used to tell stories, you know, back in ECW when we would have the guys come in to do tryouts and some of the guys would just beat the piss out of them. I hated that. What does that prove? You're a bully. You're a bully. This kid's trying to make something of himself and, and come in for a tryout and he's got to leave with a black eye or a concussion because you hit him 20 times with the chair. What does that prove? It proves nothing. So taping somebody's butt cheeks together or jumping in the shower with them and then grabbing soap and then harassing. That's that's such bullshit to me. I, I hate that side of this business. What does that prove? doesn't prove anything you're not funny that that's not funny to me i don't like that kind of stuff you know and thankfully it doesn't happen that much now with the the younger generation i mean maybe the old timers will come in and and do some stuff i'm 100 percent against that that's terrible but on the other side like i said rick has been nothing but a gentleman to me so i don't have a rick steiner story to tell that's negative I'm not one of the people who you can pull up and has quoted, you know, saying that he's a bad guy. He was a great guy. Every time I've met him, he's been a great guy to me. But that doesn't mean he's been great to everybody else. So I don't know who to believe here. I'm just saying if it happened, terrible, terrible situation. And Giselle shouldn't have went through it. Yeah, I agree. She shouldn't have to go through something like that. So, um, you know, I I guess maybe something will pop up. Maybe Rick will say something. Maybe he will never say anything and just drift away. Because like you said, he does have his real estate business. I don't really think he needs to do conventions. No, I, on the contrary. The Steiner brothers are a very hot in-demand uh, convention product they are they've made it onto the like the comic-con scene they're they're very active mm -hmm. they they're asking for a lot of money but they uh, don't need it they don't need it but they yeah. are a hot commodity they are recently right. in the wwe hall of fame rick steiner uh was revealed to be in uh the wwe elite action figure line for the first time in 25 years he's getting an action figure and first you think time he'll get WCW. pulled you think that'll get possible pulled? very possible but uh, hot what well, up until yesterday, the Steiner brother uh, product, very hot commodity on the convention scene. I feel like this will get him canceled. This is going to get him maybe canceled. Not maybe not a hundred percent, but I feel like promoters are going to shy away from them now. 
because they don't want the heat. You know, because you're going to get a lot of people saying, how could you support somebody who spews hate? We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, until he, he says something, which he may or he may not. Right. Or until a video comes out, which, you know, again, timing is everything. So if it was an empty WrestleCon, then we might not never know if it was true or not. Because, you know, the people who keep saying prove it, there might not be any proof. It's he, he said, she said. Okay, this is the latest thing. It was Gia Miller. That was just the announcer. For the people that demand witnesses, fine. I am the other talent she spoke to. And I walk with her arm in arm and look straight into Rick's face as he called her a freak and a piece of trash and a dude. I am one of the people that saw this happen. But where, like, well, why wouldn't you do it with the with the phone? Why wouldn't you flip your stupid phone and go, hey, I'm here at WrestleCon and this disgusting thing just happened. And I Maybe it happened so quickly. It. Maybe it just happened within like 15 seconds. I don't always have my phone handy. Sometimes I leave my phone at my table. If I have to go to the bathroom or I put it in, you know, my bag or something, I don't always have my phone on me. I'm just, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses for anyone, but I, that's me. I lose my phone. Sometimes my phone will be in my back pocket. I don't know where the hell it is. I'm the worst. <laughs> my glasses will be on my head. Where are my glasses? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes we don't have our phones on us. Who knows? We don't know. Unless you sit down with both parties, you're never going to know the truth. Um, unless there's a video. So if somebody, you know, if somebody has a video, I would love to see it. But I don't understand why Giselle would make up this story and include somebody random like Rick Steiner. But this this is a very hot topic. It's been all over the internet. Uh, people have been texting me about it, and uh, I've been reading tweets and comments. And I just felt like this was something we needed to to post and to uh, you know get your opinion. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Uh, let us know where you stand. But again, let me state that if it did happen, it is a hundred percent disgusting. And, uh, you know, I, I stand with Giselle and, and you should, everybody should, because hate should not be tolerated against anyone. Choose love over hate. That's what I say. Hey YouTube, it's the Queen of Extreme Francine letting you know that starting April 1st, YouTube will be the home for the Eyes Up Here experience. Along with my co-host Chad, we will be bringing you the best interviews with the hottest stars from wrestling and the entertainment industry. Plus, channel members get access to exclusive video content that includes watch-alongs and much, much more. Subscribe and ring that bell so you get the notifications, and I hope to see you at our next live.